Greetings Internet, it's Monica and today I am so excited because this is the first video in a little decor mini series that I am going to be doing here on my channel. If you guys don't know, I left New York City for personal reasons last year uh, and my plan was to move back this year but 2020 has obviously thrown all of us <laughs> A variety of curveballs so that has not happened and it seems like for at least the foreseeable near future I am going to be continuing to stay with my family and so they were very kind enough to let me basically take over a room and make it kind of my dream room which has been so fun and I'm so excited to share this space with you guys. But this video, I am specifically going to be sharing my bookshelves. I always get asked for bookshelf tours, but to be honest, I haven't really had bookshelves to tour for like the past five years. I don't know. I just, I've never had big bookshelves in the back of my videos. And so this has been such a treat to be able to style and personalize my own bookshelves for the first time in ages. So I just wanted to share that with you guys and also do a little bit of an overview of what's on my shelves. Now this video is not going to be one of those super in-depth videos where I pull out every single book and tell you a story about all of it. I just kind of wanted to do an overview because I know I'll get asked for it anyways. So hopefully for those of you who are interested in how I have organized my books, spoiler alert, there's not much of an organization system here. But for those of you interested, this is the video for you and I hope you enjoy and I'm so excited to share the full room tour with you guys. That'll be coming in a couple of weeks. So be on the lookout for that. And without further ado, let's dive in to the video. Start your computations. day for me. Today I am going to be decorating a bookshelf for the first time in years. I've never had like a bookcase like this in years. <laughs> so this is really exciting. Uh, I thought I would document the process of me putting my books on my brand new shelves and then showing what I put on my shelves. Kind of like a quasi bookshelf tour because I don't really foresee myself actually doing a full in-depth bookshelf tour uh, so hopefully this suffices but yeah I thought I would do this this is um, a little bit of a preview of my room I have a full room makeover video coming at ya but first I wanted to do this and share how I'm doing my bookshelves I painted these bookshelves with my mom and then my brother-in-law and I hung them up together. It was an endeavor, but they're here and they're lovely. I'm so excited to fill them up. So that's what we're gonna do. First thing I wanna do is just get all of my books out of these boxes that they're in. You can't even see them, it's down here. I have like just boxes of books <laughs> and I need to get them out of these boxes and onto these shelves just to see what I'm working with. I did get rid of a lot of my books a little while ago, so I don't know. I'm actually going to be able to fill these shelves, so we shall see. Also, my mom came and gave me fruit, which is one of the main love languages of an Asian mom, so thanks. <laughs> I'm 
then I went into the other room to get just just to see if like a knickknack that I was looking for was in there and I found like three more boxes of books so good job me so I'm putting together a small amount of books that I'm planning on unhauling as I go and this is where we're at so far basically I am like organizing things into sections so I think I'm gonna do like fantasy either on this whole row or these two sections obviously it's my Libardugo shrine <laughs> um, and then I have like some adult fiction up there and a bunch of like contemporary some manga this is mostly fantasy but I still have to do some organizing this is all Korean fiction and then I have some random knickknacks and yeah that's <laughs> where I'm at right now Welcome to the trade show. We got what you need, bring them something they could pay for. Painted on a smile when I'm stepping on my doorstep. I need from the world what she giving me before. A T T E N T I O N. Snap a photo with my girl, but post a picture with her friend. I'ma loop my head, trying to find myself again. Doing circles in her feet, only let them see me win. Peace is a me that I want to see. Okay, so here's where. I'm struggling a little bit. There are two authors who are kind of messing me up. First one is Rainbow Rowell because she writes obviously fantasy and contemporary and then the other one is Alice Oseman because she writes contemporary and graphic novels. So yeah, they're the ones who aren't going to be in their proper section. I'm just going to have, because I like to keep authors together so it's fine. I like it when authors branch out from their typical genres, just not for my bookcase. So I have my K-pop albums plus Taylor Swift Lover. Um, I think I'm just going to put them with my Korean books. I feel like that makes the most sense. Also, I kind of want them like on a shelf where I can, where they'll be on display, you know? It's going to be a little weird that it's all Koreans and then two Taylor Swift albums, but you know, whatever. It's fine. Everything's fine. So we are making moves officially. I just did a live for like the past hour, which was so much fun. I've been doing more lives now that I have space to do a live. Um, but this is where we are at right now. So I'm happy with that. Uh, obviously, yeah, this is not the final. I do think that there is a box of books that I'm missing, so. We'll see about that but right now I have like my Korean books here my Lee Bardugo shrine um, and I'll do a more in-depth run through at the end of this video but that's where we're at I'm annoyed because this one Patrick Ness book is so much taller than all of the other Patrick Ness books and it looks silly no matter how I put it on the shelf so I remembered I had my book spine it's a couple days later by the way but I remembered I had my book spine so I'm going to take a few books off of there and load this up, just so I have some more shelf space. This is where we're at. I have filled it all up. I put all of my Book of the Month ones on here because they're all so uniform. Um, I don't love the way it looks from the side, but I'm thinking maybe eventually I'll get some like ivy or something and drape it down it so that you can't really notice it as much, but I think it looks cute like head on at least. <laughs> Over here is how my bookcase is shaping up. I still have to do that top shelf um, and then find something to go here. But yeah, I think it's looking cute. Oh, and then something at the bottom shelf too. But I think it's looking cute so far. So this top shelf is just kind of a little bit random to be honest. I just have this very random selection of books here that I just couldn't fit on the rest of my shelves or on my book spine. So they're here. Um, a couple of these are ones that I have been saying I'm going to read for an eternity now such as The Book of S, this Twilight Life and Death edition which Honestly, I really just need to get rid of, but here we are, and turtles all the way down. Been saying I was going to read these for ever. 
still haven't but one day maybe and then i just have a few other books crazy rich asians i have read and really enjoyed but these three i do still need to read and then i have my narnia books from when i was a little kid and this is from tokyo disney sea it inside of it there were mochi but now it's just a little alien man container that i have over here is hedwig watching over me and i have this special edition of beetle the bard that i got ages ago um, and then this amazing paddington pop-up book that is a replica from the paddington 2 film and I love it so much it's so beautiful uh, and then I just have a few other random books um, and then I just have my art supplies so this is where those live now over here I have my middle grade my very small middle grade collection um, some of my favorites are Nevermore and Howl's oh, I guess Howl's not really middle grade is it I don't know what would you consider that but I love Nevermore I love Howl I need to read basically all the rest of these so one day I'll do that uh, then I have my Patrick Ness books right here plus this one which was just awkwardly too tall to fit here so um, yeah my Patrick Ness books my favorite of which is the rest of us just live here but I also a monster calls and I'm hoping to read burn soon and then I just have a variety of other fantasy novels that I'm hoping to read in the near future this one Addie LaRue I am especially hoping to read this month um, this month and into September Right here I have a variety of classics, some of which I love, some of which I haven't read yet. Obviously Rebecca has been well loved. <laughs> Over here we just have some general fiction, uh, some favorites like The Secret History, and then others that I really want to read like Sleepwalking, Grief is the Thing with Feathers, another classic picture of Dorian Gray. This one is such a fun cover. <laughs> it's supposed to look like a pulp fiction novel. Um, and then yes that is Ryan Gosling on the front and it's like the hey girl meme I love that I think that's such a fun cover um, I have a bougie candle here and then over here I have my Jane Austen collection obviously I have a few different edition of, editions of Jane Austen's books but this is sort of my collection that I read from I have this little trinket dish I made when I was little with my mom and then over here I have this little um, drawing that is of my friend Paloma and myself and I have a little pink pumpkin up here and in this box I just um, and in this box I just have some like hair accessories and things so now we come down here this is my Harry Potter illustrated edition set um, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone in Korean and then this Hogwarts snow globe that just makes me so happy. I think it's so cute. And in this section, I just have a bunch of fantasy. Most of them are still on my TBR, um, but I can talk about some of the knickknacks on here. This is Sailor Moon's pen, uh, and I got this in a gachapon machine in Tokyo. Uh, and same with these little guys, these little Pokemon. I got um, Ditto and, oh, I'm totally blinking on this Pokemon's name oh okay that's embarrassing but I got these in a gachapon in the Pokemon Center and I, they're just so cute this little TARDIS mug um, another snow globe this one is a rainbow and sparkly and I love it this I got at the Ghibli Museum and it's a stained window and it's a replica of a stained window that is at the Ghibli Museum. And this is the most lovely little thing. Let me wind it up. So yeah, it's just this little mushroom with a baby Totoro on it. And it plays the Totoro theme song. And I love it so much. I also got this at the, at the Ghibli Museum in Tokyo. I have this like creepy skeleton hand and this candle that is, it just smells so good. It smells amazing. And then I have my little Lee Bardugo area with my Nikolai doll. 
So back here we have all of my Grisha books and then next to Lee is my other favorite author Brandon Sanderson with my small collection of Brandon Sanderson books. Then down below that is I think maybe my favorite area in my entire bookshelf and this is my Korean books area. So these are all novels featuring Korean characters written by Korean authors and I just love having this section on my shelf. It honestly is just so gratifying and exciting to me as someone who I felt like I always struggled finding Korean novels and now I have a whole section of books that I've read or am going to be reading so I love having this area. So I have this random fake plant. I also got this plushie at the Pokemon Center in Tokyo and I got this Totoro from a mystery box that I think I also got in, in Tokyo, but I'm pretty sure you can get these here. And then this is so cute. My friend Reagan gave this to me for my birthday. And if you turn it on, it's a little boba lamp. I just think that's so cute. So I love that. And then over here we have my small K-pop collection. So mostly BTS, obviously, but I have a few other faves. Uh, we have G Friend, which is this is maybe one of my absolute favorite K-pop packages. Like it's just so beautiful. It's like this and Happy Ever After is so good. Um, this one, Time for Us, is an actual album, and Happy Ever After is a DVD of the Happy Ever After muster. And aesthetically, it's just the most beautiful like I love it so much and then I have these cute Winnie the Pooh sunglasses I got these when I was at Tokyo Disney Sea I love Winnie the Pooh and they just have the cutest Winnie the Pooh stuff another fake plant and then we have my all-time favorite contemporaries obviously gotta start off with Rainbow Rowell uh, my version of Carry On got sun bleached so that's why it is like this very pale yellow um, If You Come Softly by Jacqueline Woodson is amazing my two favorite Sarah Dessen books Amy and Rogers Epic Detour and The Perks of Being a Wallflower which is my all, maybe my all-time favorite contemporary um, and then these are the contemporaries that I most want to read next I'm so excited for all of these especially Smash It by Francina Simone and then next to that, I just have this rock. I have no idea what it is. My mother gave it to me, and I thought it was pretty, so that's where it lives. <laughs> right below that, I have um, some books from when I was 13 years old that I'm hoping to read for a video. Then I have some general fantasy books, some of which I've read, some of which I haven't. I've been debating on hauling the Cruel Prince series because, honestly, I did not love it, so we'll see. Um, then I have the... Shadow of the Fox series with my Fujisan plushie and then lastly over here we have manga and graphic novels and I love this shelf I just think it's so cute um, I've read most of these some of these I actually have to unhaul because I don't love all of them there's actually quite a few manga I'm not a huge fan of uh, but this is what that looks like right now and that is the end. Yeah, so that was my bookshelf tour, my bookshelf decorating process, all of those things. Thank you guys so much for watching. Are there any books in particular on here that you're excited for, that you loved and have read? Let me know in the comments down below, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye!